Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we'll look at the Aether Potions plugin. So this is a really fantastic lightweight plugin which allows you to create brand new potions and customize them. There's a ton of things you can do with them and it's really easy in the config file. So first of all, I've got a couple of options here that uh, this one is the default one and this one is one I created earlier. And if I go in game mode zero and go ahead and splash myself with this one, it's going to give me some iron ingots. There's gonna be a cool particle effect for a few seconds and then it will send a message in chat. And then this one over here I created is actually quite a negative one. Um, not only did it damage me, but it set off the iron golem and that is what you can do with it. And then the console's gonna say, ouch, that hurt. And as you can see, it also gives me one stone and it plays the explosion effect for about two seconds. So first of all, if we were to do Aether Potions help, that's gonna show us all of the commands. And what we can do is forward slash AP list. That's gonna list the different ones. Now, the green ones are working. The red one isn't, there's an error with it. That was one of the default ones that I didn't touch. And if you want to give yourself one, you can do four slash AP give your username, the potion, so test, and then the amount, so two. And that is how you would get one of them. And then a really useful uh, command is the info command. So if I were to do the drink one, it's going to tell me what the error is. So there is a missing or invalid config to do with the potion type. And that could help you fix that. And then finally, there's the AP reload command and that is going to reload any changes you made in the config file which is where we're going now. So here we are in the SMPitnia control panel you can see there's three YML files the config virtually has nothing in the messages is anything that's going to pop up in chat so literally just two items and then the potions is where you want to make configuration changes. So you can see it's going to list them all here so drink this is the first one and if we scroll down a little bit, there is the splash one, so you, you can choose which type you want. And then down here is test, so I created this earlier. Now the best thing to do is actually copy and paste an existing one, and that's going to help you create a brand new one. So this one is going to be called server miner. And what I'm gonna do now is just run through and change a few of these things and show you how to do it. So when it comes to the potion type and the particle effect, what we can do is go to this link here and choose pretty much anything we want. Uh, so let's go ahead and find one, maybe bubble pop. So we can copy and paste it and that will pop the particle effect in there, set the amount of time, so maybe four seconds. And then we can go into the potion type so maybe night vision is the one we're going to get for this one and then we can come down here and you can attach any command you want so maybe eco give one dollar to the player and then after effect you can get this message um, or you could get maybe more money or items whatever you want it's as simple as that to customize it and if we scroll up here you can see it talks a little bit about each line and explains it uh, which is really handy and you can see it leaves links to those previous things that we looked at earlier. So if we've done everything right we should be able to do AP reload and an AP list and there it is in green thank goodness and we can do AP give my username and then we obviously want the server minor one let's get four of them and you can see they look nice very tasty and we're going to do it. We got one dollar there's some bubbly effects for a few seconds and we will get night vision, so I should probably set it to night to demonstrate that. So here we are on the speaker page. You can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.19. I was using 1.20 and it was working great on that. And you can see it's got the YML file here explaining what you can do with it and the commands and permissions. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.